truth to that. That slavery. Oh, I think those are the sports the cars were that. It was good for the people that didn't know how to take care of themselves and they needed a job. And you had good slave owners like Jefferson Davis who took care of his slaves and treated them like family. He loved them. They were not family. They were property. Jefferson Davis, who led a would-be nation created to defend slavery, owned dozens of people, black people. And this place, the historic Beauvoir estate, was built with enslaved labor. The idea that Davis's slaves were happy echoes through his memoir, which he wrote in this very house. In speaking about African Americans, he said, their servile instincts rendered them contented with their lot. This idea, which is perhaps too controversial to hang on the walls, still hangs in the air here. And Brian and I encountered it at other Confederate sites we visited, where, to this day, Confederate leaders are portrayed as benign and beloved by those they held in bondage, not only distorting history, but denying the lived experience of millions of enslaved people. My own great-grandparents were among those millions. Both of them, Matt and Julia Palmer, escaped slavery in Virginia. Matt joined the United States Colored Troops, the U.S. Army's segregated black fighting force. Julia and her family fled to Union-held territory. They emancipated themselves, like half a million others before the war's end. We wanted to know why history was still being erased and distorted here. These are the questions we had for both of us, then executive director, Thomas Paine. I do think we need to talk more about slavery. And the reason I got that was not from, from, uh, from the kids. We have a lot of our young kids who come here and they want to know where the whipping post was at. And, and the way we handle that since they're young kids, we don't have a whipping post. So what I hear him saying is that we can't talk about slavery at all because kids can't handle it. But what about those Civil War battles? We watched a lot of people fall down playing dead in a field. That kind of violence that glorifies the Confederacy is A-OK -okay here. But the violence of slavery, Beauvoir steers clear of that. We're judging a lot of what happened in the 19th century with our 20 and 21st century uh, glasses, so to speak. We're looking through lenses of the 20 and 21st century and saying, oh, that's terrible. We've heard this before. You can't judge slavery by today's standards. But we don't need to. Abolitionists, including the formerly enslaved, argued against the system while it was happening for the same reason we argue against it today. It was wrong. And yet Payne defends Davis. I think that would be an honest perception that he was a benevolent slave owner. There's no way to benevolently own another person's body, another person's life, another person's future. That phrase, benevolent slaveholder, is straight up lost cause language. So here's a term we need to understand, lost cause. Confederates who lost the war devise this idea of the lost cause. It's a whole false interpretation of history designed to justify their defeat, to absolve themselves of any guilt for starting the war, and to vindicate their pre-war way of life. And this story is still being told at Beauvoir. The larger goal of these once powerful men was to end the process that was reordering Southern society. Reconstruction. They wanted to redeem their status, their power, and their control over black lives and labor. These fantasies persist because people have to believe. They have to believe that they fought for something greater than the continued subjugation of another human being. Christy Coleman is a longtime administrator of historic sites, and she's currently the CEO of the American Civil War Museum in Richmond, Virginia. She's an African-American woman, and the center she runs tells a story of the Civil War that's complicated, at times ugly, and it includes the perspectives of African-Americans free and enslaved, and of Union and Confederate soldiers. In other words, the full story. It's almost laughable when I read some of these um, diary entries about these owners, <laughs> these little slaveholders, were just so mortified that, well, Jenny's been with me since she was six years old, and the fact that she ran off with those Yankees and da 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 da, -da I'm just sure that they, you know, uh, uh, overwhelmed her little fragile mind. 
And this is the same woman that you've had whipped several times because she has run away on her own long before the war. There was just this cognitive dissonance. <laughs>